Hello everyone and welcome back to Quicksort 14's blog, Quix 14 blog. This is of course Quicksort 14. Getting back to our grind here, level 75 to 76 this time, as we continue our questing and leveling up. Um, there's tons to show you. I am actually level 77, getting close to 78 now, actually, and uh, so there's a lot to catch up on. So let's get started. First, we've gone ahead and we're moving up to the uh, northwest corner of Dragon Blight. Uh, we're still in Dragon Blight uh, to do this quest here. Um, this was the quest you went to, go to follow the Argent Dawn path. Uh, depending on your level, you'll depend on whether you get this. And we're also got another quest to do here anyway with those seeds that we got for the uh, green Dragon Flight or Dragon Blight or whatever. So we're doing that as well here. Just throw the seed at him. He'll turn from an elite to a non-elite, and you can easily kill him. They were both in the same vicinity, those two quests, so very, very easy to do. Not too much of a big deal to note uh, about either of them. Once you're done, go ahead and turn that one in. He'll give you another quest to go into Nagrand, or not Grand, but Zagrand, or whatever the heck it's called. And uh, the steps in the entrance there, and it's another zone, and we'll, we'll go there later. So now we're moving on to some Scarlet Crusade stuff again. Um, yeah, they're back. You want to head to the east from that position, and that's where you're going to find their camp here. Um, you just got to kill a certain amount of each type, and you'll be done. And you also got to find the path of redemption. Once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and turn it in, turn them both in for the, that uh, Scarlet Crusade quest, and that'll take care of that. Now we're going back down underneath into that. Um, kind of comb that you saw at the end of the last blog. Uh, this is like right in the center of the town that's uh, below the uh, keep there. So what we got to do here is kill a certain amount of uh, a scourge, basically. So that's what we're doing. I'm kind of gathering quite a bit here. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm handling it just fine. Love Clearcast, love Hurricane. It's always a good good point, good idea to get in the habit of doing that. Uh, the balance of keeping your hots up, your heal over times up, and uh, your you know, damage with the uh, hurricanes can get get kind of confusing. You'll get into it. You mightn't be noticing I'm using a new add-on. Uh, I'm using Click A and also Grid for my healing to replace my old heal bot. And uh, I'm going to go into that more details at a later time because I know you're all wondering what if you haven't seen the uh, poll results. We're going to show that at the end of this blog post, the very last part. We'll have that for you. So. You kill a certain amount there, and you also got to kill uh, a couple of bosses. Not really bosses, but leader guys. Once that's done, go ahead and turn it in. Just go back up towards the entrance and turn it in. And uh, then you can move on. The, the other quest you got down there was to find these crates. were actually on the in the, the town. You can find them. They're scattered all over. Very, very easy to find. A lot of scourge up there, though. So keep, keep your thing. This is a cute, fun quest. Would you turn that in? You're going to hop into one of these chain guns here. You're going to signal for your friend to come out. And once you see them come out, as you can see here, I'm trying to figure it out. But once they come out, you can just start shooting at these guys. Oh, it's a lot of fun. I had a blast doing this quest. Just mash that button. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they'll come up here. And once they're all the way up there, they're fine. Just make him a path and follow him. It's not going to hurt him. Your chain gun isn't, but it's going to like kill the the, zer the uh, zerg. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is Warcraft, not Starcraft. Uh, the uh, the scourge, real real easy. Once you're done with that, just do that for fun. It's a lot of fun. That quest is a lot of fun. Turn it in, fix it up. Now you got to go find um, this guy here. Which you'll find here. Basically, go down to the place where the abominations were, straight down the middle. Very corner is going to be this little tunnel here, and that's where you're going to find him now. Go through the tunnel, because it's not a closed tunnel. Go through the tunnel. Follow it. It's a little dark, hard to see, but go ahead and follow it, and this is where you're going to find these guys that you need to kill to get the stuff on them. The drop rate on these guys is really, really good. As you're going to see here, I'm going to kill like about four or five of them, and I think I only need like three or something. I don't recall exactly, and I can't quite see it here. So, yeah, there's like four here. And uh, I go ahead and I get all of them. Actually, I think you need four. And I get all four from these guys. So the drop rate is real easy. They do hit hard. 
Um, they also do some Tug Soul or some sort of debuff like that that does some damage over time or some debuff. can't remember exactly. This is a long time ago. This is like a couple weeks. So you'll have to bear with me. Otherwise, they're not too hard. Um, respawn rate, I really didn't notice, but they don't respawn fast enough uh, for you to you know, worry about them respawning on top of you while you're looting their corpses. So if you get four of them, pull them, whatever, do them one at a time, you'll be just fine. Yeah, you just need the journal pages, the four journal pages, and they'll come up right easy. Uh, once you've got them all, go ahead and turn that in. And then I'll give you another quest to go uh, report. So now we're going to do the second boss of that seed quest. He's in that destroyed barracks in the center of town, just just a little north. <laughs> so cute, he turns into a little guy. Um, so go ahead and just go in there, use it on him, and go ahead and kill him. I'll turn from elite to non-elite. Real easy. No big deal. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on now. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, the group quests, the wanted quests. But first, uh, we're going to do this map that's also in that same area. This is a continuation from that scarlet one. You need to pick up that map right there. There's a couple of hounds near there that guard it. Hounds aren't a big deal. They go down pretty easy. And of course, they're skinnable, so that's always a good thing. Um, as you can see, we got an ad here of one of the onslaught infantry patrols up and down that thing, which you'll find as well. We're going to do the wanted quests here next. And I got almost all that recorded except for one. Um, I do apologize for that. I will tell you where he's at though. The one, the second wanted quest that's from here is just south of here, near the very end portion where the river is of the uh, Scourge Town by Nax. So I'm gonna go ahead and group up with a couple Death Knights who were having to be up here. I grouped up with them, and uh, they were kind enough to help me through this stuff. It's a husband and wife team, I, I do believe as it seems to be pretty common. <laughs> so they went ahead and gave me a hand to help me with these wanted quests and also another uh, group quest for the uh, Green Dragon Blight. The Green Dragons. Like I said, I did accidentally skip the second one. This is the third one. This is um, to the west, just west of the Green uh, or the Emerald Dragons um, vicinity area. I can't remember the exact name of the place, but you're going to find it right in there. Um, he was a bit more of a challenge. He's got a lot of ads around there we had to clear out. A nice little cutscene thing here, as you can see, um, that kind of brings in and ties in going as you're going through. There's going to be a lot of this stuff here, and uh, you're going to see it. Great, great stuff. So now we're back into the Emerald. Emerald uh, Dragon area killing this owl that's down there that I tried to take on before and got my butt whooped. They had lend me a hand for it, and that was precious. And uh, I thanked them, got some really nice stuff out of it, and, uh, and that was pretty much it. Um, again, like I said, this was just south. This is just south from where we just were, so that's no big deal. And finally, the last seed you can find any of these uh, frost worms running around here, around here. Uh, towards the uh, temple. Take your pick where you want to. You're going to have to keep up with them, so stay stay uh, as mounted as long as possible. And you get close to them because it will take a little while to cast it. And uh, once you got it, you'll bring them down. Of course, they'll be non elite, and you can take them down pretty easy. They still hit pretty hard, but you shouldn't have a problem. And that takes care of that quest. With that quest done, we're going north um, to this other quest we got that we got from the fort. Uh, earlier, and uh, this one's real easy. Go ahead and pick it up. He's going to give you uh, something. You're going to head up towards there. You can go ahead and pick up this quest. We'll be doing these as well. But you go ahead and head up towards where those hooks are. Are not yet. You got. I'm sorry. Got confused. I had to read it here too because I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do. But there's a griffin right over here on the side, right there. You talk to her. She's going to go lure this uh, big bad um, frost worm over to here and then they're going to chain him down with the uh, hooks there and then you're all going to go in and uh, take it down real easy. The nice thing is, is if somebody's in the progress of doing this the thing you need to get is not loot it, it drops just like me before like a little doodad 
which you've seen that many times before by this point. So if somebody else is already fighting it, you know, give them a hand, or you can just wait till they're done, and then pick it up. Um, this guy does hurt, obviously, he's elite, but uh, not too bad, uh, considering his level. He's actually a pretty fairly easy elite. And once you have him down, you can go ahead and loot it. And there it is. And it's kind of right underneath him, so you kind of kind of got to find it. You find it, you grab it, and then you go ahead and uh, head back. But we're going to do that other quest that guy gave us, and that was to kill some of these Magmatar guys and... Uh, some of their little kobold friends. Go ahead and kill those. Really easy. They're just a little south from there. Southwest from there. I'm going to turn that in. More to come. See you in part two.